Hello, welcome to the Spiritual Tech Center. Oh, my name is Sonia and I'm going to be doing a love and relationship reading for you for Sagittarius. So welcome Sagittarius. Okay, so what has August got in store for you? Okay, we do have the full moon eclipse on the 7th of August. And I do feel that that's going to affect everybody. It's going to be emotional time and it's going to be a time to get rid of things that you no longer want. Okay, the tarot pack that I'm using are the Illuminati tarot pack. Okay, let's see if we can get some guidance for you, for relationships. Okay. Ah, <laughs> lovely. Okay, so the overall energy for the month of August is the Seven of Wands. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> so maybe there's a fire sign around you. Maybe there's a fire sign. Um, maybe this is you um, or another fire sign around you. <coughs> Please excuse me. What's happened here is the wands have been planted. The seeds have been planted, but none of them are growing straight. So it's kind of... Uh, You've done this, you've done this, you've done this, you've done this, and now you've got this to do, but you've got nowhere to put it. So it's kind of not having your intentions right in the beginning. So this is about changing how you feel or think and going back, actually. If you're in a relationship already or, or maybe past relationships, it's about going back and looking at, at why these bits didn't work out right for you why you had all that passion and energy, but it didn't go where you wanted it to go. Okay, so we have pulled as the main card for your reading, the Two of Cups. Couldn't pull a perfect, more perfect card. The Two of Cups for me is the perfect union. Um, it can signify a choice because the twos are all choices. So perhaps there's somebody that you're in a relationship with who's already with somebody else. Perhaps there are two people that uh, you could, who could be potential partners and you, and you can't make up your mind. Perhaps you're in a relationship and you've, you've now met someone else and it's very intense. It's a lovely card. And the thing is with the Two of Cups as well, it's like it's... Um, meant to be a relationship that's meant to be so going forward in august for you is going to be passionate as well this new beginning of a, a, a love romance whether you're with somebody or you're single somebody new is coming through for you okay so let's see what's led up to this and we have the justice card so you would have been treated unfairly in the past. Um, there's a sword and there's the balance of scales. So this is about um, past hurt as well, being treated unfairly. Or perhaps this is quite recent actually, where you've been treated unfairly in a relationship that you're in at the moment. Um, and I do feel that by the 7th of August, you're gonna sort out those issues um, and let them go because it will be a brilliant time for you to do that. Okay, the way forward, brilliant, another major arcana, the wheel, number 10. So this is the end of one cycle and the start of a new one. So there's definitely new relationships on the way for you. And if it's the a relationship that you're in at the moment, then it's going to be a whole new thought process around that relationship. It's about setting down getting rid of those uh, desires and, and things that are not going your way and, and sorting out what you want from the relationship and communicating that as well. Okay, so let's have a clarifier. Lovely. Okay, so the clarifier that we have for the Justice card is the Ten of Cups. So I was sense that you would have had the perfect family situation or you thought you did. You thought everything was rosy in the garden and everything was going exactly as it should do. Um, this is our dream. This is our fairy tale ending. And something has come along to upset that. Something has come along that's um, 
and you've been treated unfairly over this i do sense that this could be another person as well there could be i sense a trio so there could be that choice so whether that's you in a relationship with someone else or you've been hurt because there's been unfaithfulness um then that's the reason that card's there. Okay, so the clarifier we have for the Two of Cups is the Seven of Pentacles. Now we had the Seven of Wands here. So things are not being put down right. And this is kind of the same sort of thing because the Pentacles are, are our work cards and it's looking back at all the hard work that you've put into your relationship. All that hard work that you've put in and, and something happened for it to go pear-shaped very quickly. Um, again it's about focus and it's about focus as to where you put your energy with this relationship especially the new one now the pentacles are the earth signs taurus virgo and capricorn so perhaps there's a new a new gentleman on the or, or female on their way for you um perhaps one of the decisions you need to make is around one of those star signs and if so, then it's going to take a lot of work in and out because um, and contemplating and making sure you put down the foundations right. OK, the clarifier we have for the wheel is the three of swords and the three of swords speaks for itself. It is the broken heart. It means that you have had a broken heart. So where this justice card is in the beginning, this is what it's caused. And it's actually wounded you. That wound is still there. That wound, even though that new beginning's coming for you, that wound isn't going to heal overnight. That wound is... is. It's not that you're going to be emotional over it. But the, the, the swords are about our thought process, but it's going to be that you, you do still keep thinking about it. But what you need to be careful of is that you don't take it into new relationships because... Not everybody is the same and, and you can be treated totally differently in your new relationship. Okay, we'll have one more clarifier card and that is the Nine of Pentacles. So again, it's a Pentacles card. Again, the Earth signs are there, the Taurus, the Virgo and the Capricorn. You've got the male and the female energy here for both of those. The Nine of Pentacles is about luxury. It's about having everything. So it's about putting those foundations down in the right place. Allowing your past hurts to go. Justice has been served with regard to that relationship. So allow those to go and make the choice. Make the choice of what you want going forward in August. Okay, I'm going to pull you one more card from... The Dorian Virtues Angel Cards. Okay, and the card we have is freedom. And I sense this freedom needs to come from this card. You need freedom from this situation, from this hurt. You need to allow that to go so that those new beginnings can come in, so that the wheel of life can turn once more. Make your choices with regard to your relationships, but in the same time, make sure that you're free and it doesn't come into your freedom. Okay, well, I hope you all have a lovely month. Thank you for listening to the reading. If it did resonate with you, it would be lovely to hear from you. Please subscribe to my channel as well. There is a link at the bottom as well for a, uh, for a personal reading with me if you would like one. And I hope you all have a lovely month. Thank you for listening.